yo, what the fuck? As you go about defeating enemies, you'll begin to pick up lots of stuff in your loot bag, and the question remains, should I keep it or toss it? Well, let's examine some of the more common stuff you get from defeating enemies. Now, depending on what you are fighting, whether it be a creature, a person, will determine on what you pick up in your pending loot bag. When defeating creatures, you will most likely pick up some part of the creature itself, such as wings, beaks, claws, fur, and so on. When defeating a human type of enemy, you will most likely pick up a damaged form of their weapon, like a broken sword, a shield, or roughed up clothing. Some of these items can be turned in to a task bulletin board in certain areas such as certain number of broken swords or coarse fur and other bits of creatures or materials. Just simply extra stuff to do for added XP. Now, most items you get in your pending loot bag are not needed, but if you're unsure, simply hold your cursor over the item in question and it will tell you what can be done to, with that item. Most are not usable and can be sold to a provisioner or such for a bit of coin, but not very much. However, some of which can be used for crafting depending on the item and what vocation slash professions you chose. Check out my other video for further crafting details. Also. Each item has a one hour time limit to be in the pending loot bag, so don't forget about it because you may lose stuff you wanted to use or keep. So make sure you pull that into your inventory if you want it. There may also be quest items that appear in your inventory bags after completing a quest or picking one up, so make sure you check everything before just dumping it. As far as what to keep and what to toss or sell, I genuinely keep all of my health and power potions, the green and blue bottles, along with my healing potions and all of my food type items to help me heal after loads of combat. Now, certain items you must keep in your inventory, such as all your current clothing slash armor items, your weapons, and all your accessories like earrings, rings, wristbands, along with any tools that you use for crafting. Believe me, there's a lot more stuff to keep but this video would be hours long trying to cover them all. So I'll let you discover them as you progress through the game. The Ultra, as I call it, free to play model that they have now is all expansions up to and including the Helm's Deep expansion, which basically gets you all the way up to level 95 completely free. All those expansions include, in order, Moria, Mirkwood, Isengard, Rohan, and Helm's Deep. With this new ultra free-to-play model comes three new classes to choose from. Actually, these aren't new classes, just now free to all players. They are the Warden, the Runekeeper, and the Bjorning. Now, the Bjorning is its own race and class. You can't be a man and a Bjorning, or an elf and a Bjorning, and so on. Plus, you also get three newly free races to include the aforementioned Bjorning, the Stout Axe, and the High Elf. All these new additions save all of you new players tons of money and time 
rather than having you spend real world money or grind your life away for Lotro points. Now, with that being said, there aren't many things you need from the Lotro store anymore, but one of the only things you need is the riding trait. To be able to ride a horse on your own, which you will definitely need because it is a big map. Other than that, there's not much else you'll need to purchase from the store unless you're wanting to purchase any cosmetic outfits or any specific styles of mounts.